What's up guys, Tony CW here. We're on Cyber Simulator today for the latest update, the New Year's Day update, version 2.085. Before we get into the video, I just want to say if you are new to the channel or not subscribed, it would really mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button. Please turn the post notification bell with all notifications turned on so you don't miss out my future videos, live streams and pet giveaways in various games including this one. Please feel free to leave a comment in the section down below as I do try to respond to all comments that are left. So, as usual guys, I do actually show you what's been released on the website um but there's not much been released for this update so it'd be easier for me just to inform you instead of showing you what's been released so the things that have been released guys we've got four times candy now so if you actually attack the boss whether you be in a private server on your own or in a server populated with other people you will get four times candy from the boss um and obviously that will actually help you get your candy canes up now as you guys can see we still do have candy canes in the game now the candy canes are the currency that we are going to be using to hatch the new New Year's egg that they released in the update. Um, so hopefully a lot of people have managed to save a bit of the candy and not use it all. Um, and then allows them to actually hatch the egg um, a little bit quicker than having to grind for the candy canes again. Now as I said they have released a new New Year's egg which is that one over there guys. So we'll actually go and check that out in a second. Um, apart from that guys we've not had anything else updated in the game so we've got no new savers um, from what it says on the website I don't believe we've got any new auras in the shop it doesn't say anything on the website but I'm just going to double check it's best to check and not uh, check at all okay so still same auras guys uh, I was hoping that they release some new auras for the new year's update but hopefully they'll release some very soon um, and as I said there's no new savers in the store but I don't think there's any new DNA either. Let's no. Okay, so the DNA is still current at, at the moment, guys. So hopefully we do get some new DNA for everyone that is struggling with uh, the DNA storage at the moment. Okay, guys. So apart from obviously those additional items that have been incorporated into the game, the four times candy and the new egg, that's all that's in the update. So what we will do guys, we'll actually start hatching this egg very shortly, but as you can see the cost of this egg is 1,000 candy canes. Um, I have actually managed to get myself 1.122 million, so I do hope I've got enough candy canes to show you all these pets from this new egg. Um, as usual guys, we've still got the look event in the game, not sure when they will be removing that, but we still have the higher percentage of hatching um, the pets, so hopefully I do have enough candy canes to um, hatch these pets to show you guys so as usual guys I'm gonna just turn all these back on so I do get them in my inventory bag once I do get these pets I will turn off the individual um, evolution pets from the one star down to the single moon leaving the double and triple uh, which is the only ones that we do really concentrate and obviously that's all you can turn off anyway so hopefully we can get all these pets in the update guys hopefully you can see what the pet names are what the stats are and what they look like and hopefully as i said i do actually have enough candy canes um because obviously 1000 candy canes i think i actually spent over a million in this egg to get every pet so i'm hoping that i've got enough so i'm going to start hatching the egg now guys and see what we actually get but as i said once i do um hatch the individual pets i will actually turn them off just so I don't fill up my inventory bag and just double check that they are the standard pets uh, yep okay okay that's a golden number four so from the looks of it guys we've actually got um, another um, New Year's pet where before we had a 2021 pet now we've got a 2022 pet uh, but last year I, if I remember correctly I think that was the double moon pet so they've actually moved that down to the four star now so let's carry on hatching and see what we get so we've got a one five and a three let's turn those off so one five oh yeah i already turned three off didn't i so yeah i got a third okay so let's carry on hatching <coughs> okay so we're just waiting for four more pets and hopefully we get them pretty soon so we've got the single um, which is another cotton candy from the looks of it 
So we will check the area in a second, see if it's uh, similar to the original cotton candy that we've had. So, still waiting on the four star pets. So I've just got the 2022 four star from the looks of it. Just waiting on the 10.27% chance pet. Which, for some reason, does not want to make an appearance. Ah, right, there we go. And, um, yeah, thankfully, that's the standard pet. So, hopefully, we do have them. Uh, yeah, okay, so we've got the standard pets. That's fantastic. Okay, so, we can turn all of these off. I'm going to keep the double moon pet on because I want to see what I can actually hatch and make while I'm trying to get the double and the triple guys. Now, obviously, if it does start taking a long time to get these remaining two pets, as usual, guys, I will speed the video up just um, so I can get the pets uh, within a reasonable watch time for you guys and then if I do speed it up and get these pets then I will slow it down once I do hatch all the pets we will obviously check these pets out have a look what their names are what the stats are and what they look like and we will also check out this new cotton candy pet because it looks very similar to the ultimate cotton candy um, and if it is then they've just obviously used the same pet and just gave it a new name so we'll obviously check that out once we do end up getting the double and triple um, and as I said, I do hope I have enough um, candy canes to actually get these pets because I, oh there we go, I've just got the double, that's fantastic. So just a triple one that I'm waiting for now and I've got just over 950,000, um, or 960,000 actually. Um, okay, so I do hope I do get this. So hopefully I'll get it within the uh, video itself without speeding it up, but as I said, if I don't get it in about the next minute or so, I will speed the video up until I get the trip moon pet. And then, once I do get it, we can actually check all these pets out, see what they look like, see what the names are and see what the stats are. And obviously equip the single, the double and the triple, see what they look like. And see if they're pretty decent or if they're not worth getting at all. Because uh, as I said, this one here does look like the ultimate cotton candy one. Um, so if you've already got ultimate cotton candies, then you might just want to skip this one and concentrate on these two here. So, just waiting on the triple moon pet guys, and hopefully we do get it quite soon. So, some of these pets have obviously got New Year's name in them. And a lot of them seem to have very similar names from the looks of it. So we've got Dominus New Year. A New Year 2022, a Wizarding New Year, and anything else? I should miss the cotton candy one. <coughs> okay. So, we are still waiting for the trip moon pet, guys. Um, I'm not sure why it's taking so long. I'm going to give it about another 30 seconds before I speed the video up, and then when I do get the pet, I will slow it back down if I have to speed the video up. And then we will check all these pets out, what the names are and the stats. Hopefully, I do hatch it quite soon. But it looks like the game is having a bit of a, a lag delay so, uh, now and again. It keeps freezing and opening the eggs. Okay, so the single moon pet was the New Year's cotton candy from the looks of it. So we still haven't hatched the trip moon pet. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to end up speeding the video up, guys, just by I hatch for the trip moon pet. Hopefully, I get the trip moon pet within the amount of candy canes I have left, which is the seven hundred sixty-one thousand. So I'm going to speed the video up now, guys. Hopefully, get the pet within that time of the candy canes and not run out and then we can obviously check all these pets out so i'll be right back once i have used all my candy canes or managed to get this last pet remaining i'll be right back guys <laughs>
Okay guys, so I've slowed the video down. As you've seen, I did manage to hatch the um, triple moon pet. Now, I'm not sure what evolution it was, um, but because obviously I've hatched it, I've just stopped it straight away. So we'll have to have a look what um, the evolution is in a second and try and see if it's the normal or if it's any evolved version. We'll obviously try and work out um, what the stats would be. So... If we start off with the one star pet in the egg guys, which is this one here. This is the New Year 2022. And this pet will give you 22,650 strength and coin stats. And 1,305 crown boost. Our two star pet is the Wizard of New Year. Which gives you 26,613.75 strength and coin boost. And a crown boost of 1,355. Pet number three, which is our three star pet, is the... Slash game slash four two five two seven two one one five two, and this pet will give you thirty one thousand two hundred seventy one point one six strength and coin boost and a crane boost of one thousand four hundred and five. First four star pet of the egg, which is pet number four, excuse <coughs> me, is the Dominus New Year. The Dominus New Year gives you thirty six thousand seven hundred forty three point six one strength and coin boost and a crane boost of one thousand four hundred and fifty five. Second four star pet of the egg is this one. And it's the New Year 2. And this pet will give you 43,173.74 strength and coin boost. And a crane boost 1,505. And as I said, this is very similar to the double moon pet of last um, uh, New Year. Which actually had 2021 in. So they've incorporated this in the game again for this year. But they've added wings um, on this one for this year. And I think it's also added a hat as well. I think it was just the standard uh, looking pet with 2021 in. Following that, we do have our pet number six, which is our five star pet of the egg, which is the New Year Witch. Now, the New Year Witch will give you 50,729.14 strength and coin boost, and a crane boost of 1,555. Following that, guys, we do have this pet here, which is the New Year Cotton Candy. Um, and from the looks of it, it looks very similar to the Ultimate Cotton Candy. It just says New Year instead of Ultimate. Now this pet does give you 59,606.74 strength and coin boost and a crane boost of 13,600. Now I do actually have a golden uh, 2022 uh, pet which is a new year 2 and that does actually give you 64,760.61 strength and coins and 2,257.5 crowns. So as you can see it does actually jump quite a, quite a bit for the golden so not bad at jump at that. Following that guys, we do have the Double Moon Pet of the Egg. <coughs> and the Double Moon Pet of the Egg is the New Year Festive Timothy. Now the New Year Festive Timothy will give you 74,000 strength and coin boost. And a crane boost of 26,750. And finally guys, following that we do have our um, Triple Moon Pet. Um, but before we do that, I've got Golden New Year Festive. So let's have a look at this. So Golden New Year Festive does actually jump up to 111,000 strength and coins and 40,125 on your crowns. So not that bad. So where's the... Oh, okay. So we've actually got a um, Golden Triple Moon Pet. Now this one is the Golden Queen of New Year. So it will just be the, uh, called the Queen of New Year. Now that is 115,500 strength and coin boost. And a crane boost 46,875. Now a golden version is one and a half times the amount. So divide that by three. Times it by two. 77,000. 77,000 strength and coin boost. And crane boost multiplier. Uh, the same with that, divide by 3, multiply by 2, and you're looking 31,250. So, so that's the stats for that. So, um, as I said, 77,000 strength and coin boost, and crown multiplier will be 31,250. So, pretty decent stats for um, a trip moon pit when you first hatch it. Um, obviously if you do manage to hatch a golden or even higher then it will actually jump up a lot more so I just got lucky hatching the golden um, don't think I haven't hatched anything else above that except for a shiny um, 
New Year cotton and candy, so we'll have a look at that in a second. So, pretty decent stats for the Triple Moon Pet. We will equip these three in a minute and have a look. <coughs> but before we do, I want to see what the shiny um, New Year cotton candy stats would be. So we know what the single stats would be, um, which is 59,606. Uh, I do actually have a golden one, which I've missed. Now that does actually jump, jump up to 89,410.11 strength and coin and 20,400 crowns. So a pretty decent jump. And then when you get, you get shiny, it does go up to 119,213.48 strength and coins and 27,200 crowns. So that's pretty decent um, for a single moon pet. So as I said, we are going to be equipping these um, pets to have a look at what they look like. So firstly, let's equip the single moon pet. So this is the New Year cotton candy, guys. So the New Year cotton candy looks like this. Um, very similar to one of the other cotton candy pets that was in the Christmas um, egg, if I remember correctly. Where is it? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I think it was similar to this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's similar to that one in there because it does actually look very, very familiar um, down to the actual colours and everything. Um, the only thing is you've got 2022 above its head. So that, that is a nice little uh, addition, um, but I'm pretty sure that is a straight copy over from this egg here. Um, but never, nevertheless, it's got 2022 over it, so people know you've actually got it from the New Year's egg, so it is unique. So let's unequip that. Now we will obviously put the Dumb Moon Pet on, which is this one here, which is the New Year Festive Timothy. So the New Year Festive Timothy does look like this. Um, and as you can see, it's got the New Year's hat on with 2022 on, and you've also got a little um, building statues on the top with 2022, and you've got the balloons, and it looks like the Empire State Building or something. Um, I'm not sure what the globe is to represent, um, but I do actually like it to be honest. I, I do like how they've actually put all that into one pet. And no other pet that I've seen in game has anything like this. So this is a unique pet for a um, egg that has been released throughout the game. I've never seen a pet with anything else added on top. So you've got the pet, the obviously the New Year's hat, but you've got the additional little city on top. So I do actually like that. Um, that's very, very uh, unique, and I like unique pets. Okay, so let's take one off. Now this one is obviously a golden. Now the colour shouldn't really change from normal to golden, um, so hopefully it should be very similar. The only thing is the bright yellow might be a little bit duller. Now as you can see here, this one is the um, Queen of New Year. <coughs> Excuse me, um, and it does actually say 2022 on it, so it is very unique to the um, game and the year. But it is just a looks like a straight copy over from the spiral pets um, and obviously it's just got the additional 2022 in and the little sparkles but apart from that it does look a pretty decent pet um, they've incorporated a few new things onto the pet as well which I don't think the, um, the other pets had so I do actually like that but I do, I do like how it actually states that it's 2022, so everyone's going to know that you've actually hatched it from the New Year egg. And once the New Year egg goes, everyone's going to be looking at it and go, I like that pet, I want it, and I'm going to get it. And unfortunately, they're not going to be able to get it from, the, uh, from then on. So everyone who gets these pets, a lot of people will obviously be probably asking you to trade because you won't be able to get it after the event goes. So they are going to be very rare and unique in-game. And being it does actually require the candy cane to hatch it, a lot of people probably used all their candy canes on the last Christmas egg. So they'd have to end up grinding more to hatch this one. So not many people would actually have that many of these pets. So they, are, they will be very rare and popular. So I am going to try and get some more candy canes myself and try and get some of these pets because I do actually like them. Um, but as you can see, I've spent just under or just over half a million at the moment and I've just managed to hatch one 
of the triple move pits. Luckily, it was golden, uh, so I've got a pretty decent stat pit. Um, but I'm not going to be keeping this pit because uh, obviously I have got these pits equipped at the moment, and it's pointless me trying to level these up because by the time I level these up, um, newer pits probably will come out that I'd have to do change anyway. So all these new pits that I have actually um, hatched from the last couple of eggs, they will be going into a future giveaway, um, including any of the new year pits that I hatched from here, um, from me using the 533,000 candy canes and whatever candy canes I get over the week. Um, so any of the pits I do hatch from here, whether they be standard, golden, shiny, rainbow, if I manage to make any rainbow or hatch any rainbow, or if I make any or hatch any voids, um, they will be going to a future giveaway as well. They won't be equipped onto my avatar. Um, so anything I do get from this egg, I will be looking at putting into a giveaway. So I am in the process of trying to get more pets for a giveaway. As you guys might have actually uh, seen um, on the 20th of December um, 2021, I did do the void, double and triple moon giveaway. And I gave 147 pets out. So I'm actually working tirelessly to try and get more pets for future giveaways. Just take a little bit of time to get guys, but once I do have enough pets to be able to do a giveaway, I will post an update video on when I will be doing another giveaway to help you guys out. And as I said, any pets I do hatch from these new eggs that have been released, um, or any future eggs that I get, will be going into those giveaways as well. And then hopefully in a few more updates i might look at actually upgrading my existing pets and then these are going to give away as well so please keep an eye out for that video for the announcement when i do get enough uh, pets for a new giveaway guys so back to the update guys those pets that you've just seen there are obviously all the nine new pets in the new new year's egg pet that's been released as i said guys we do use the candy canes to hatch it where i thought they would actually um, use a new currency but they've obviously left the candy canes so if you guys manage to save some candy canes then you're well on your way to hatch this new egg um, a lot easier than having to grind um, if you did manage to use all your candy canes thinking the same as me where you would um, be using new currency then it will take a bit of time to grind to get enough candy canes um, You've probably seen I did spend over 11 million on this last egg, so I did actually use all my candy canes, and I spent about eight hours grinding over different servers um, to manage to get just the amount that I had, which was just over 1.1 million, I think. Um, so it was a bit of a grind, but being that this is here for a full week, if you do do it now, you will get times four candy instead of the times two candy. So you will obviously get the candy a lot faster and be able to hatch the egg guys. Okay, so before I end the video guys, I just want to say once again, if you are new to the channel or not subscribed, it really mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button. Please turn on the post notification bell with all notifications turned on so you don't miss out my future videos, live streams and pet giveaways in various games including this one. Please feel free to leave a comment in the section down below as I do try to respond to all comments that are left guys. And if you enjoyed the video today guys and found it helpful, please smash that thumbs up button. See if we can get about 400 likes on this video today. Um, and before I do go guys, just once again, the new updates in the game. We've got 4 times candy, the new New Year's Egg. Um, once again, we've not got new, no new sabers, so you don't have to worry about grinding for the sabers this week. Um, hopefully they will release new sabers next week we are still hoping that they release some new auras for our avatar and our pets and hopefully some new dna for people that are struggling with dna storage okay guys so that's it for this video and i'll catch you in the next video stay safe guys and peace out